So, on this beautiful Sunday morning in October, the Let's Visit show crew is off to Beverly's North Shore Music Theater to learn about tiny houses. All about it. This is a non-profit educational program that uses tiny houses as a vehicle to teach students about all subject areas. We teach them math and science when they learn how to design and build a scaled-down model tiny home. They learn English, they learn art. What they actually learn is also how to grow up. They have lessons which teach them if they have bought a tiny house when they graduate versus say a traditional home or a McMansion how long it will take them to work and how much they will have in the bank when they retire. <laughs> Good morning. We're giving away lots of stuff. According to Wikipedia the tiny house movement is an architectural and social movement that advocates living simply in small homes. The tiny house movement promotes financial prudence, economically safe shared community experiences, and a shift in consumerism-driven mindsets. But the groovy thing is, we have a place we can hang out if it's raining, and when it's oh time to go to sleep, we have an actual bed. Nice. So it's a... Um, Full size memory foam. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that'll so work. We do have a lot of pluses. And, we, and so, what happens, of course, is that. Learn to ride a bike. They might not say. March. April. Yeah. March. April, March, whenever they end up having it. And then I've done the old one. Yeah. And we like that. Yeah. We, um, this is truck. What is the uh, basement? Um, Christmas decorations. Oh. And, um, my cooking stuff that I don't use every day. Um, yeah, right? Yeah. And it it gets road dirt from underneath so it's all it's like plastic bins that fit in there and I keep oh, everything in a plastic yeah. bins so the bins are nasty and disgusting but the stuff inside, but inside is fine. Is yeah. Great. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Versus you know, being on the road all the yeah. time. Wow. Oh yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> It's always something, right? It's always something we find in yeah. every trip. I could do that better. Yeah. yeah. I just love this idea. It's so comfortable. It's just such a comfortable bed. Yeah. I used um, the biggest thing was the swivels. Now the difference between a tiny home and a camper is simple. While people live in campers for a short time traveling around the country, others use these tiny spaces as their main home. Even though they are able to travel on highways, tiny houses mostly are set up on a plot of land as permanent residences. In the United States, the average size of new single-family homes grew from 1,780 square feet in 1978 to 2,662 square feet in 2013. The small house movement is a return to houses of less than 1,000 square feet. Tiny Houses on Wheels was popularized by a man named Jay Schaefer designed and lived in a 96 square foot house and later went on to offer the first plans for tiny houses on wheels. <laughs> Not too many people are shorter than me. Yeah, well, there are some. Tell me, it, now she's traveling around. Um, the law allows a woman to feel The interest in tiny homes has encouraged new businesses. These businesses cater to new homeowners and feature tiny stoves, refrigerators, heaters, sinks, mini air conditioners, and the like.
Tiny houses have received tremendous media coverage, including a serial television show, Tiny House Nation in 2014, and Tiny House Hunters. The possibility of building one's own home has fueled the movement, particularly for tiny houses on wheels. Tiny houses on wheels are often compared to RVs. However, tiny houses are built to last as long as traditional homes, use traditional building techniques and materials, and are aesthetically similar to larger homes. Do you guys want to look up at this one? I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Look, this one's going to be closet. Sorry. This is an 1880s, 1870s narrow gauge boxcar. Uh, we built it from scratch. It did not exist. It, it's not one we converted or found somewhere. Okay. Um, we did about a year's worth of research to build it. The railroads didn't have a lot of specific data about construction. Like, they had outlines, lengths, heights, widths, and capacities for freight. So we had to figure out through what little photography existed back then. Photography was new as well. It was right after the Civil War. So it took about a year and we figured out how they built them. Uh, visited a few that still exist, mm -hmm. uh, found pictures and all of that, and we decided to build it. So it's not built like any tiny house. It's built like a bridge mm -hmm. or a New England style timber frame barn. Mm -hmm. uh, not as elaborate joinery, but similar. It's all mortise and tenons. Uh, every vertical post in the car has a steel rod that runs from the top plate beam all the way down the side of that post to the deck. So the whole thing is held in compression. And the point of all this is it had to be strong because they would hit these with 70 ton locomotives. And the only thing that was going 30 or 40 miles an hour back then was the, that locomotive. So they pulled them, they shoved them, they yanked them. And the guys driving it probably didn't really care about them. Tiny homes range typically between 100 and 400 square feet, the size fluctuating depending on the owner. Considering the small size of tiny homes in comparison to that of average sized homes, energy costs are invariably smaller. Moreover, tiny home power grids are typically sourced from solar panels, which decreases the amount of energy necessary to sustain the home. More importantly, the price difference of using solar power on a tiny home in comparison to an average sized home significantly decreases homeowner expenses. Thus, the variation of energy emissions and cost necessary for output between a tiny home and average sized home varies notably. Besides a love for videography, I also enjoy building things. So this tiny house kit interests me very much. Everything you see here is delivered to your building site, down to the last bolt. All you have to do is put it all together, and then customize it to your own taste. I'm gonna say it every chance that I've got.
does this. Then it's too. Oh, okay. Because I did look in there before. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Oh, yeah. It's warm outside today. It's, it is, because yeah. yesterday was pretty cold, yeah. and I thought today was going to be. This cold. looks real comfy. It's, it's totally comfy. Is that Alex's little truck? <laughs> yeah. oh, We're trying I to. Now we come to the pièce de résistance of the show, in my absolute favorite tiny house. This purple, completely mobile home even seems to have landed on the Wicked Witch of the East. I'll go, I'll come in. It's a cute little porch. Oh, I love the door. It's soft. Look how like pretty it's. What can you tell me about this place? Um, not much. I actually don't live here. <laughs> um, this is Miranda, uh, the woman who organized this event. She lives here. She built it with her mom. She's lived here for three years. And she parks it in Connecticut. Um, did you see the stairs yet? I saw them behind me, yeah. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, see, I like this stuff better. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> Yeah. That is fantastic. And the loft is up yeah. there. The loft Beautiful. Is better. Oh, well, thank you. Sure. What's your name? My name is Marissa. I'm just house sitting, just volunteering today. Are you from local? I'm from Beverly, yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Sure. And what are we cooking today? Today, we are preparing corny bread and popcorn. Bite sized corny bread made with beer. Made with beer? From the Corny Bread Company. Oh, cool. <laughs> Um, okay, one, wait, one for you, one for you. I'll get napkins and sports. Bite-sized corny bread made with beer. And today is my first day unveiling a gluten-free popcorn using Willie's Slumber Beer out of the gluten -free beer. Wow. All righty, well, I'm, I'm game. You're in four times I am. I am. All right, what about a joke? This joke has big laughter, though, not tiny laughter. Okay, so. okay. <laughs> Okay, and that's just one? Yes. Gonna share? Yes. All right, I'll get you two sporks. And I'm almost out, so I have to put another batch in. Popcorn, bite-sized corny bread made with beer. about your house? This is 70 square feet. Not 2,000 square feet? No. <laughs> 70 it's, square it's feet. It's 7 foot wide, 10 yeah. foot long. Okay. Um, in the front, that is a compressor refrigerator, so it runs off a 12 volt or 120. Wow. And you've got panels on the outside? I have solar panels, so that can run off of 12 volt from the solar panels. Fantastic. And this is a quick shower area here. Yeah. Um, a compost toilet that I just use cedar chips with. Mm -hmm. um, I have an air conditioner in here that uh, directly vents outside. Cool. Um, my water tank, I have a 16 gallon water tank under the sink here. Or I can be, uh, a hose can hook up to the front of the trailer. Mm -hmm. um, this is a big Berkey water filter. So I can filter all my water. The drawers are made out of steam table drawers, and I just put handles on them. Um, Get your microwave over here. Yeah, microwave. I have a burner. burner I have two here. burners, actually. That's just one out. So you got all the comforts I have at a, home. Yeah, propane furnace on the bottom. Yeah, I see that. Right there. And um, my your, TV is TV, you even, I was going to ask, yeah, where's the TV? TV's there it is. Me. All and right. You. You're all set. And then a closet is in the corner there. And Thank by this point, all of these people had lovingly, you know, donated their time, different materials, all in sort of like the as seen on HGTV stamp. So we decided to 